Good morning and thank you for being here. This is certainly a day of uh, very mixed emotions uh, for us. It's sad in one sense because we're seeing the end of an incredible playing career and saying goodbye to someone who has been everything you could ask a player to be both on and off the field for the last 16 years. Yet we're also very happy because we get to be here to celebrate that incredible career. And we're also able to witness one of the greatest players in franchise history be able to leave the game on his own terms, having played his whole career as a giant, something that doesn't always happen in this business. And if anybody deserved that opportunity, it's Eli Manning. For the last 16 years, Eli has meant so much to all of us here at the Giants and also to our fans. We all know about the two Super Bowl MVPs and all of the great performances on the field. But just as important was the way he conducted himself on and off the field as the consummate professional always with dignity, always with class. We all have so many memories of Eli, and I just want to quickly mention two of mine. I certainly remember the days leading up to the 2004 NFL draft when I was constantly in and out of Ernie Corsi's office. We were on the phone with him, hoping we could pull off that trade with San Diego. And what a trade it turned out to be, probably the best trade in franchise history. Uh, Eli became the face of the franchise, a Super Bowl MVP, and as fine a representative as this team has ever had. Ernie, who's here today, I just want to thank you for having the foresight, the patience, and the guts to pull off that trade and help build those Super Bowl teams. I also remember the last game of the 2004 season, Eli's rookie year, when he took us down the field at the end of the game uh, in the closing seconds to beat Dallas. It was the last game my father ever saw. And I can remember walking to the locker room with him afterwards and him saying to me, I think we found our guy and how right he was. I want to acknowledge a number of Eli's past and present teammates, a lot of whom are here today, all of whom played a huge part in his career. I can't mention all of you because I know I'll forget somebody, but thank you. Thank you for being here. And Tom Coughlin, our great coach uh, who led us to those two Super Bowls and who was so instrumental in Eli's success. I also want to acknowledge uh, my partner, Steve Tish, who wanted desperately to be here today, but is under the weather and was unable to fly. Fortunately, Lori Tish is here today to represent the Tish family. Eli, Steve did tell me uh, that he has some movie roles in store for you. Um, you obviously made an impression on him with your fine acting and all those commercials that you did. Um, he specifically mentioned, by the way, uh, co-starring in Equalizer 3 with Denzel Washington. So I guess I missed Equalizer 1 and 2, but I'm sure going to catch number 3 if you're in it. Um, I also want to take this opportunity to thank um, Olivia and Archie Manning uh, for raising such an outstanding son, and to Abby uh, for being so supportive uh, of Eli for all these years. We would not be standing here today celebrating his great career if not for everything you guys did. And finally, Eli, what more can I say? Thank you for everything you've done for the New York Giants uh, for the last 16 years, for being such a role model for our players, for our fans, and for everything you've done in the community. Uh, we have this game ball to present to you, which attempts to list all of your accomplishments. I'm not sure we got them all, we, all in there, but you will always be uh, the ultimate giant, and we would be honored to induct you into our ring of honor next season. And please know this, no giant will ever wear number 10 again. Good morning, and thanks for coming. This sport has very few real farewells. But as the clock round down on our win against the Dolphins this season, I ran to my favorite place in the stadium, the tunnel. I waved to our loyal fans, and then Abby and my kids ran out to meet me. That was my farewell, and a moment I'll cherish forever. There won't be any more tunnel moments for me, and I'll truly miss them. I'll miss standing in the shadows, staring out into the field before a game, surrounded by my teammates and knowing all the hard work we put in. I'll miss hearing the first roar of the crowd, triggering the knowledge 
that we had been given one more opportunity to go win a football game. It's impossible to explain the satisfaction, actually the joy I've experienced being a giant. From the very first moment, I did it my way. I couldn't be someone other than who I am. Undoubtedly, I would have made the fans, the media, even the front office more comfortable if I was a more rah-rah guy, but that's not me. Ultimately, I choose to believe that my teammates and the fans learned to appreciate that. They knew what they got was pure, unadulterated Eli. I don't have any regrets, and I won't look in the rearview mirror. Would we have liked to have won more games or championships? Of course we would have. There were tough times that I learned and grew from, but I always knew the level of effort and sacrifice that my teammates and coaches made. We did all we could do every week. I choose to leave this game with only positive memories. Why harp on the not so proud moments? Where's the value in that? If there are going to be endless echoes, choose the good ones. For now, I'll focus on the touchdowns, the wins, celebrations with teammates, family and friends, and sharing a cold beer in the back of a bus after a big game. I'll remember the OTAs and training camps. I'll remember the special people that make this organization what it is. During the past 16 years, many of the faces have not changed. From the film people, the equipment managers, the community relations department, and those in the cafeteria and the training room, each of them have become like family to me. I've watched as they've gotten married and I've seen their kids grow. I'll miss the people and I'll miss the life experiences that we've shared. I'll remember conversations with coaches, game planning, and meeting rooms. Those are unique memories that I, I treasure and ones I'll relive with teammates for decades from now. When you win championships, you have a special, unbreakable bond with teammates. When you see them, you give them a hug and you hold it just a little bit longer because of that unique connection with those special people. Many became friends that will last a lifetime. I was excited to come to New York. When I make a decision, I'm determined to make it work. Abby and I became active members in our community, whether as parent volunteers for our kids' sports teams or supporters of local charities like Tackle Kids Cancer, March of Dimes, and Guiding Eyes for the Blind. I don't have a single regret, and ultimately, I think that it worked out for you and for me. We supported our community in the past, today, and since we're going to be sticking around here, we'll continue to support this community in the future. It's rare to have the privilege of playing an entire career with one organization. I'm proud to be one of the few, but even more so that it was as a giant. There are a few people that I want to thank. Of course, the mayor and the Tisch family. You can be confident that no one has loved and appreciated wearing the Giants uniform more than I have, and that will never change. To Ernie Accorsi, 16 years ago, Ernie made the trade that made me a giant for life. Thank you so much. To Coach Tom Coughlin, thanks for teaching me the work ethic, the discipline, and the value of team above all else mentality. To Coach Kevin Gilbride, thanks for always having my back and trusting and supporting me through my entire career. And of course, to all my teammates, if I named them all, it would take forever and no one would recognize me if I did. What I will say is that the best thing about playing all these years is the number of teammates that I can call real friends. And of all those friends, I'm lucky enough to have a few that have become as close as brothers. And of course, my family. I don't think I need to make public comments for my family to know how I think about them. But Abby and to Ava and Lucy and Caroline and Charlie, you are my rock. And to the Giants fans, you are definitely unique, <laughs> but I love you for that. I'm walking away today feeling like a New Yorker. 
Well, at least a Northeasterner. And that says a lot about a guy from New Orleans who went to Ole Miss. Since I've only been here, I'm biased when I say that the New York Giants are the greatest organization in the NFL in how they treat players, coaches, and personnel. The team's driving commitment to win football games. It's a rarity, but here, team always comes first. It's been an honor to be a part of this family, and I hope that I've represented the organization in the way that you wanted me to from my first day to my last. For most of my life, people have called me easy. Believe me, there is nothing easy about today. Wellington Mara always said, once a giant, always a giant. For me, it's only a giant. Thank you so much. Eli, congratulations on your career in this Thank day. You. Just curious, why retire now instead of pursue opportunities? Because you had kind of indicated you felt like you had something left to give. Well, I think it was important uh, to me to, to go out as a giant. And uh, I think when you come, when you get drafted and you, you come to an organization, I think that's always your goal, to, to, to stay with one organization your entire career. Uh, as you get towards the end of it, it, it doesn't always work out that way, and you still have you know, desires to play sometime. But I think it was important, um, the, 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 the fans, this organization, this family, um, with the Giants uh, is, has been uh, so remarkable. I think it was, it was the right thing to, uh, uh, to, to call it, to call it a, a career and to, to end it instead of trying to uproot my family and leave and, and uh, try somewhere else. This, this was the right decision, and uh, I, know, I know it is, and I'm at peace with it. I think that's uh, what, what has made this, um, this day a little bit easier. You are, congratulations. Uh, over here. I just want to see how much pride did you take in your durability? Obviously, never missing a start. And was there any game that it was close that you might have missed? Uh, there, there were a couple games where it was close. It was, you know, didn't practice most of the week. Maybe went out on on a Friday for the first time. But, you know, I think um, it's more. I think what it was was a lot about just trying to be there uh, for your teammates. And, and you saw, you always saw guys playing through injuries. You saw offensive linemen. You know, guys that were sore, that were beat up, running backs that were sore every week, but they, you know, they did what they could, um, you know, to be there for their teammates, for their ownership, their coaches, um, and so that, that's really what it was more about. I, you know, I, I didn't want to let them down. I didn't want them um, to know they were working and doing everything, and so I knew I'd always, you know, hey, if I had to be in the training room all day, uh, get with, you know, Ronnie Barnes and get with the, you know, with the, the training staff and make them hey, whatever it took to get healthy, I was going to do it. And, um, you know, if I felt that I could, you know, play and, and play well enough uh, to win a football game, then I wanted to be out there. And so that was, that was always the mindset to, to do everything possible to be out there for, for my team. Hi, Eli. Uh, you're obviously going to have a lot of time on your hands. I'm curious what you see yourself doing a year from now, what you see yourself doing five years from now. You know, I, I don't know. I think, uh, you know, these last few weeks as I made this decision, um, you know, I, I really didn't think much about going forward. I think a lot, of, a lot of my, uh, you know, time was spent just reflecting on on these past 16 years. I, I talked to a lot of coaches, a lot of former teammates. We had, you know, a lot of laughs, a few cries, uh, just about the great, the great moments. And so I think my focus has been on that. Um, you know, I, I look forward to a little downtime. I look forward to spending time uh, with my family, coaching, coaching Ava's third grade basketball team, assistant coach. Um, and, and, you know, just being, being involved with my, my kids and, and Abby and uh, getting to do some things that, you know, that I've missed out on, um, you know, uh, because, of, because of this job and occupation and the dedication I gave to it. So, you know, I think um, I'm going to take, you know, take some time and just uh, enjoy, enjoy it and then figure out uh, what my next steps are. Eli, thanks for the class and elegance over the years. Thanks, Bruce. Do you think you got closure from that last victory and did it make the decision easier because that game ended up the way it was beautifully with the victory at home and everything in the tunnel? Yeah, you know, as I, you know, as I talked about, that, that was a special game. And, and just because, you know, this sport's it's different, um, you know, it's different than, than a lot of other sports where you kind of have a farewell tour uh, in baseball or basketball you can, when you kind of know you're going to retire that season. And, you know, this year, you know, you don't know what's going to happen, but 
you know, I think, you know, the fact that my contract was up and this was, you know, maybe going to be my last start and to get a win uh, in, in your home in, in your home stadium and to have, uh, you know, the crowd and kind of that recognition, I think that was kind of, you know, as I said, my, my farewell. And um, I think it does, you know, help give you a little bit closure and kind of have uh, one last, you know, uh, great positive uh, memory that you can you can you know kind of remember your last your last game that you played was a win at home and and the emotions that surrounded that so I think it did uh, it did help uh, make this process easier. Eli, congrats on all your success. Uh, John Mara had said that he would welcome you into the organization in some capacity. Have you given any thought to taking on a role within the Giants at some time in the future? Is that something that you would be interested in? Um, later on, um, yeah, I mean, I think it, it would that would be something I'd be interested in. So I just got to, you know, I have to uh, discuss that and, and talk to Mr. Mayor and see in what in what ways. And I got to think about in, in what way. Um, I think um, you know, again, I'll take some time and, and um, just figure out, you know, how how I want to spend um, these next years. But uh, this this organization, as I said, it, you know, so many um, so many close friends uh, within the organization, and not just the former teammates, but people uh, in, in all departments of the organization that have, you know, the faces, they, they don't change. People don't leave here because uh, because of all the wonderful people and the way the organization is run and they take care of the people here. And so, um, you know, it, you do have so many, so many great people that I'd love to be around and, and be around uh, the people that I call my friends. What was the last uh, year like for you? being a backup for the first time and then spending as much time as you do with Daniel, what do you think the future holds for him as the Giants quarterback? Yeah, I think there's a bright future. Um, and I think, uh, you know, there was, uh, some, you know, there was obviously, uh, I try to think of the positive moments and the great memories. And, and I have a lot of them. I have, you know, a lot of, a lot of uh, you know, fond memories of, of being in the meeting rooms and being with the coaches and, and being around uh, Daniel and Alex Taney in, in the, in the quarterback room we had you know lots of laughs we have lots of work uh, great work that we did so you know I don't I know Daniel um, you know I appreciate uh, a lot of things about him and and the fact that he, uh, he he loves the game of football he is passionate about it he works extremely hard and so you appreciate those things if if that weren't the case it might have been harder to kind of go through this situation but you see the way he conducts himself and and I think uh, you know he's got a bright bright future ahead of him and so do the Giants. Hi, you like? Right here. I, uh, when you look um, behind you, these two huge banners with um, Lombardi trophies. There's Lombardi trophies right next to you. When you look at those, uh, your teammates always talked about your ability to stay calm in the craziest times, and the word often used is clutch. What does clutch mean to you, and why were you able to be that? You know, I always thought, um, you know, in those moments, in a, in a two-minute drive or a or a, a situation, I think you, you kind of there's people have different reactions to certain things and and um, you know some people when they get in that moment they're they're scared they might make a mistake or worried about uh, the bad things that could happen and what and what those outcomes would be and how that might affect them where when I when I get in that situation I only think about how awesome how awesome it's going to be when we go down the field and score this touchdown and that's the mindset and that's what you work towards and you game plan to, you know it's not what are the problems is, you know, what are the plays that are going to work and what are the plays that are going to be successful? And you have those and you work them and you, and you, you know, plan for those. And so I think it's the mindset. I think, um, and I think that's contagious around your teammates when they sense that and they feel that and they, you know, you have, you know, new guys that might be in that scenario, but uh, I've been in it before. I've, you know, we've had fourth quarter wins and, and so they, I think they trust, they trust in me. And so it's the team coming together and being confident in those scenarios, uh, you know, that they can go out there and everybody can raise their level of play just a little bit more. Uh, and so you get that opportunity to go win that game. Eli, congratulations. Um, you talked earlier about how you wanted to do it your way and that eventually you believed everyone would come around and appreciate that. Did you always believe that right from the start of your career or was it at all difficult in the early years? You know, there's definitely you know difficult times in the early years. You're you know you're struggling um, as a player sometimes, and you're you know uh, you're not winning as many games, and you're dealing with the New York media, and they're harping on you about different things. And so, um, you know, I think uh, you, I think that's that's the time when 
you kind of test it and you just say, I have to say, you know, stay true and, and know that, you know, the hard work, the dedication, the commitment, um, you know, you, you rely on your values and know that they'll get you through those times. And so when you do that um, and you see, you see the progress and you see little steps of getting better and improvement, uh, it verifies it so you can, you know, stay that course. And I think once you try to, if you try to become just because you're, you know, maybe struggling or you've had even, even the good times or even the, you know, the bad times or the good times, if you start changing your ways and start, um, you know, having, having the outside world affect the way you uh, conduct yourself, the way you act around your friends or your family or teammates, you know, I just don't see there being any, any positives in that, you know, I, I'm, I'm, Naturally, a quiet guy, but I work hard and I try to earn the respect from my teammates through my, my, my dedication and my hard work. If I tried to be a, a rah rah or, or, or yelling at people, or you know, it wouldn't be natural. It would be awkward. It would be fake, and, and that would be sniffed out and, and, and come back to haunt me. I think. Eli, congratulations. You handle the challenge of going to Ole Miss, handling the challenge of being a Manning and ignoring the trappings of New York, where did that intestinal fortitude come from? You know, I think um, I think I just, you know, I, I, I try to look at the big picture of things and I try to, um, you know, since, you know, get a, a sense of a place where I'm going to be happy and where uh, it, it feels right. There's people, um, you know, that I meet within the organization. Obviously, when I went to Ole Miss, uh, David Cutcliffe was the head coach and that's someone I trusted and someone I appreciated and someone I knew. And I know that you know working with him, he was gonna make me a better football player, and that's why I was going to Ole Miss to be a better football player. When I was interviewing with the Giants, you know, I met with Mr. Mayor and Tom Coughlin and the whole Giants organization, and and um, you know I saw their commitment to football, I saw their commitment and just a storied franchise that um, that that's what they cared about. They cared about winning games and 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 just you know putting a great team out there each and every year, and I appreciated that. Uh, that desire, that same commitment. I know I had that same desire about football, and and, and would you know fit well in this organization. And so that's why um, you know we made it work, and why I wanted to come here. Eli, congratulations! Uh, another New York sports icon went into the Hall of Fame this week, Derek Jeter. I'm wondering what you learned from him uh, about handling this market, and also second part would be what would it mean for you to go into your sports Hall of Fame. Well, I'm just trying to figure out which one of y'all didn't vote for him. <laughs> There's only one of you, so I know you're probably in here. Um, you know, Derek. Uh, Derek was was great. He called me. He called me my, my rookie year when we were you know starting, lost a few games, and and uh, you know he just uh, talked to me about uh, that it would get easier and just you know stay the course and be yourself and just keep working and and uh, you know things things do improve and so. Uh, you know, we've we've had a, um, uh, a you know a good relationship over the years, and seen him at you know several things, and stayed in touch somewhat. So, you know, just uh, if, after that, it was someone who I did I, I watched closely on how you know uh, he conducted himself, how he dealt with the media, how he dealt with fans, um, how he worked hard, how he stayed humble in all you know circumstances. After you know so many championships that he's winning, he was on top of the world, but. Um, you know, so I, I, I took a lot, took a lot of notes uh, from how he, how he handled uh, New York, and so he's, he's been a great, um, a great role model for me uh, all, all these years. And so, um, and your second question, um, you know, that's that's not a, not a concern. I'm, I'm, uh, you know, my focus now is, is, uh, you know, just, uh, just, you know, reliving the great, the great moments and the great memories with my teammates and my family and and let everything else work out from there. Eli, congratulations on a successful career, and thank you for all the memories. I would just want to know, what would be your message to future generations of Giant players? I mean, I think my message to, the, to the, all the Giants players is that, um, you know, it, you're, you're coming to a wonderful organization that, that truly cares about your well-being, about you, um, and if you, if you um, you know they are committed to doing whatever it takes uh, to to put a winning team out there in the field and to bring championships here. And if you can have that same commitment and that same dedication uh, to this organization that they have to you, uh, great things will will get accomplished. Take two more, for you. Eli. Thanks for everything. If you did not have that game against the Dolphins that Sunday, um, 
How different do you think the process would have been leading up to today? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. Um, you know, it, it's it's hard to have hypothetical questions and know how it changes. You know, so um, you know, I'm I'm happy it happened, and and uh, I guess I won't try to you know look back and see if, how things would have been different if it if it hadn't. Last one, and Eli will take one more. Eli, hi, in the hi. back. Hi, yeah. Tom Brady tweeted just a little while ago, wishing you the best in retirement and congratulating you on a great career. He said, not going to lie, though, I wish you hadn't won any Super Bowls. <laughs> Those two moments, of course, will live forever. What, I guess, do you take from perhaps the head-to-head -head against Tom Brady, but also delivering what a lot of people thought were unlikely championships those two years? Yeah, I mean, I think, uh, you know, I've been around Tom a number of times and, and uh, you know, see how competitive he is. and. and um, you know, we joke around it a little bit, but I think, you know, it, it's not real funny to him. Um, and so, uh, you know, those are obviously, you know, great, you know, when you think about the great, great moments in your career, uh, those are, you know, those are going to be at the top of the list when you win championships and both of them, uh, two minute drive to go down there uh, and win it and, and one against the undefeated team um, that it lost all year. And, and so I think uh, th th those are special, but it's not. You know, I think everybody wants to make it, you know, uh, me versus Tom Brady. You know, it was the Giants versus the Patriots. Our defense, defense has played outstanding. Guys made plays. David Tyree, Mario Manningham, Plaxico Burris in the, in the corner of the end zone. So just so, you know, you, you uh, like I said, you just cherish those moments. You cherish uh, those relationships that you have with those teammates and coaches uh, when you win those games. And, and um you know, those those are uh, that, that's obviously why you play for you play for the opportunity to win a championship. You realize how hard it is, how difficult and all the breaks you have to you have to, you know, that have to go your way and that you got to overcome uh, to get to those scenarios. And so, um, you know, those are those are, are special ones that, you know, I'm, uh, fortunately, uh, you get to you get to kind of relive uh, relive those moments through your friends. Eli, first of all, congratulations. Obviously, this was a tough decision. What was the best advice that you were given and who gave it to you? Uh, about this decision? Correct, yes. Um, you know, I, ta I talked to a lot of people. I taught, you know, uh, uh, you know, Peyton. I, I relied on Peyton a lot uh, just because obviously the similarities and, and going through a career and, and trying to decide, um, you, know, you know, how it ended. I talked to him a lot about you know, when, when he, you know, changed uh, franchises from the Colts to Denver and, and how that affected him. And, and it was a little different scenario, but just, you know, wanted to talk to, talk to him a lot about that. I talked to, you know, coaches and, and teammates and, and just trying to, uh, you know, get their ideas, guys who had left organizations and, and you know, learned, learned a couple things. And, and um, you know, from the guys, the guys who played here at the Giants and went, you know, happened to leave and go other places, uh, they all said the kind of same thing. It's not. It's not the same other other places. It's different, and um, and then you know I think it was just um, you know a lot of people said hey you know sit on it think of it don't rush into any any decisions. I might have rushed it a little bit just because I, I knew it was the right thing to do. I, I knew I know 100%. I'm not going to have. I'm not going to regret this. Uh, you know when I make a decision I commit to it and, and make it make it the right decision. And this this is it. This is the right one. And, um, you know, it's, it's an honor to have played here 16 years and to, to have only played here. Hey, Giants fans, Saquon Barkley here. You want to see more videos? Subscribe below.